In the previous videos, we covered all the basic functions and features of the WordPress administration area. Now we're going to dig in a little deeper and talk about how to modify the look of your WordPress site through the use of themes. WordPress uses themes to determine the overall design of a site, including the colors, layout, and typography. There are literally thousands of themes to choose from these days, and they cover the entire gamut of both quality and price. We're currently using the default WordPress theme called 2014, which is ideal for online magazines or news sites. From the themes subpanel in the appearance menu, you can change the entire look and feel of your site by installing and activating a new theme. The current theme is highlighted, and next to it are other installed themes that are also available for use in your site. Click on a theme to view more detailed information about that theme, including buttons to enter the theme customizer, edit widgets and menus, or change the header and background of your theme. Clicking the arrow at the top enables you to quickly cycle through the info pages for each theme, and the live preview button enables you to see what your actual site content would look like with the new theme applied. You can even interact with the preview to see how the theme displays posts and pages. In the left-hand pane of the theme customizer, you can edit and personalize the theme settings. Now, these settings will differ depending on what features your current theme supports, so you may see more or fewer options than you see here. I'll close this live preview and then click the Customize button on our current theme, 2014. As you can see, this theme includes more customizable features than the previous theme. At the top, you can customize your site's title and tagline and see those changes in real time. You can choose a different color for the site title and change the background color. If you like, you can add a custom header image, which will appear across the top of your site. Click Add New Image and then either choose an image from the media library or upload a new image. Notice the suggested image dimensions. If your image is already sized to those dimensions, then WordPress will simply use your header image as is. But if your image is not this size, WordPress will present you with a crop tool, which will allow you to choose exactly which portion of the image to use in your header. Click Crop Image to apply your crop, and now you'll see your new header image in place across the top of the site. You can also upload multiple header images and let WordPress randomly choose a different header image to show to your visitors. And you can upload a background image using the same process, though in this theme, the background image won't be visible except on very wide screens. Now, this theme supports two different menu locations the primary navigation menu at the top, and a secondary menu that appears in the left sidebar. I'll temporarily collapse the customizer so we can see the left sidebar, and the secondary menu at the top. In a later video, I'll show you how to build custom menus for use in these locations. But the theme customizer enables you to choose which custom menus will be used in each location in your theme. One of the most frequently asked questions is how to use a static front page as the home page of your site instead of simply displaying blog posts. The static front page option enables you to choose what content is displayed on your front page. By default, this theme displays your latest blog posts, but you can choose a static page and then select from a list of your pages to have another page serve as your front page. For example, I created this page with some welcome text that I'd rather use as the front page or home page of my site. Then I created a new blank page simply titled blog, which I'll now use to display my blog posts. As you can see, this will cause all of my blog posts to appear on the blog page while my newly created home page is now the front page of the site. The 2014 theme also includes an optional section for featured posts at the top of your home page. To enable this feature, first enter the name of a tag. Now, I've already added this particular tag to a handful of my blog posts, so you'll also need to add this tag, or whatever tag you choose, 
to any posts you want to show up in this featured content area. You can also choose to display your featured posts in a grid or in a slider. Either way, this is a cool way to highlight your featured content for your site visitors. And last, the Theme Customizer also enables you to add and edit the widgets that appear in the sidebar or footer of your site. Widgets are actually independent blocks of content that can be placed into any widgetized area provided by your theme, typically the footer or the sidebar of your site. Widgets can be used to display your most recent posts, categories, or other links or content. You can reorder the widgets by simply dragging and dropping them into a new order, or clicking the arrows to move a widget up and down the order. And you can move a widget from one widgetized area to another. I'd prefer to show my most recent posts in the footer of my site, so I'll click the Move icon and then choose the Footer Widget Area. Then click the Move button, and now this widget will appear in the footer of my site. I'll repeat the same process to also move the Categories widget, the Recent Comments widget, and the Meta widget. You can easily edit the details or settings for each widget by clicking the arrow to the right of the widget's title, or anywhere within the widget's title area. I'll collapse the customizer, and now we can see that these widgets have been moved from the primary sidebar on the left-hand side of our site to the footer across the bottom. This theme also includes a content sidebar, and widgets placed in this area will appear to the right of the main content area. I'll show you what I mean. To add a new widget, just click the Add a Widget button, and then choose a new widget from the list that pops up on the right. I'll choose the 2014 Ephemera widget, which displays a list of posts from our blog. I'll choose the Video post format, and now we can see that the Ephemera widget is displaying a list of our video posts just to the right of our primary content. To save and publish the new theme settings, just click the button at the top of the panel. To add a new theme, click the large button at the bottom of the themes page. In this panel, you can search thousands of free themes from the WordPress.org theme directory. You can view featured themes, or browse the most popular, or latest themes. You can even filter results based on specific colors, layouts, or other features. Click on the thumbnail of a theme you're interested in previewing, and it will open in a full-screen preview page to give you a better idea of how that theme looks. You can interact with the theme to see how it displays posts and pages, and you can review details about the theme on the left. The previous and next buttons at the bottom allow you to navigate through other themes, and when you find a theme you like, click the Install button at the top of the left-hand pane. If you've purchased a custom theme, you can use the built-in Upload function to install the .zip archive containing the new theme files. WordPress will automatically upload those theme files to the correct location on your web server. And once a theme has been uploaded, you can view a live preview to see what your site will look like when the new theme is activated. You can make changes in the customizer and view those changes in real time. And when you're happy with what you see, save and activate the theme with a single click. A theme is actually a bundle of files that must first be uploaded to a directory within your WordPress installation on your web server. If you're comfortable editing PHP and CSS files, then you can use the theme editor to quickly make changes to your theme's files. Or edit the style sheet, which controls the fonts, colors, and layout of your site. Now, be sure you've saved a copy of these files before editing or backed up your site before you make any changes here. As you can see, these tools make it really easy to personalize your WordPress site and make it completely unique.